Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. Last time had a really disappointing run with Judas. So let's just jump right into a blue baby run. That'll be fun. Um, so yeah, last time really fucking disappointing. I was so sad. I just, I only had four hearts at the last boss and it wasn't enough. I don't know that guy's patterns very well. And uh, yeah, this didn't go so well. But anyway, so we're starting out on another vanilla run. It would be awesome if I was able to beat the blue ba game with Blue Baby right here and be done with it. But uh, somehow I don't expect that to be the case, but I will abide the wishes of the random button. And hopefully this run won't go too badly at least. Let's try to survive to 15 minutes. I'll consider that a, a huge success. So we are on the basement XL, I know that because there's a locked treasure room, and of course it says it in the bottom left, but who looks at that bullshit, right? We have this big blue asshole here, dropped a heart that I can't use, that was really worthwhile. Uh oh, that was close, I thought they were going to flank me. But I guess they're not quite that smart. Right, let's hop in here, that was really close, I almost walked right into that guy. We did get a spirit heart out of that poop, which is huge. Uh, it's blue baby, obviously. So we can get another? No. Well, hopefully we can find a key pretty soon, so we can hop into the item room and get the relic that's waiting for us, right? Right, guys? There's a, there's a relic in there, right? Sure hope so. I could use my bomb to get that one penny, but that seems like a poor allocation of resources right now. Hopefully we'll be able to find a se uh, <laughs> I almost said a secret rock, but a tinted rock, but you know what? Chest is fine too. Come on. Hey! Cool. Got a spirit art out of it. It's hoping for another bomb as well, but hopefully we'll find some more bombs later on. The chest is tempting, but it'll have to wait until after both of the item rooms at the very least. Man, this is a scary room. Just don't come into my little corner here. There is a tinted rock here. Unfortunately, we do not have the bombs for that, so hopefully we'll get one soon enough. But I don't regret that chest decision at all, because uh, we got a spear dart and a scent out of it, which is a really good chest, especially when you're playing as a character who so desperately requires spear darts. That was easy, and similarly really easy. There's my bomb, cool. Let's check for the secret room and blow up that tinted rock. No room, but two more spirit hearts is huge. We're up to seven spirit hearts on the first floor. That's uh, an incredibly lucky blue baby run. I wonder if they like tweak the drop rates of spirit hearts to make it a little bit more possible to beat the game as blue baby. Like by that I mean only made it so that spirit hearts drop more commonly as blue baby. You know, it'd be really nice if Blue Baby had like the Gubby's paw effect on every uh, every uh, what am I trying to say here? Thing he picks up, every health upgrade he picks up. So instead of only getting one Spirit Heart from a whole heart container, he would get three. I feel like that would make him a little bit more of a viable character. Uh, just a little bit, mind you. It'd still be way worse than a normal character, but you know, as it is, like. Blue Baby is way more luck based than the rest of the characters in that if he gets health upgrades, that's like a wasted um, upgrade. And that hardly seems fair. You know, he should at least get boss drops. So, you know, it, I feel like three spirit hearts is at least on par with something like a static upgrade. Whereas one spirit heart, totally shitty. There's our key, as well as another bomb. We're getting really lucky getting exactly as many bombs as we are tinted rocks. There's two more spirit hearts doing really well on health. I just gotta hang on to all this health and hopefully get something like a Book of Revelations pretty quickly. And uh, if that happens, who knows what could happen on this run. Ooh, the wafer is nice. That's damage resistance. Uh, I believe that sometimes negates hits on uh, earlier floors and then when you get to the womb and onward, everything only does half a heart instead of a full heart. So if, if I can get this run that far, that's an enormous advantage. It effectively doubles your health on the later floors. Um, which is amazing. <laughs> really, really, really good. Can't overstate enough 
how much of a help that's going to be. There's another tinted rock here. Hopefully we'll get another bomb soon. Tons of tinted rocks on this floor, man. Amazing. Oh, fuck. Can't believe I took my first bit of damage in such a stupid way, but this is kind of a packed room. There wasn't a lot of room to maneuver. Come on. Yeah, my big hope here is to get a spirit heart producing item early. That's always, you know, my stated goal with blue baby runs. And hopefully also something like a, uh, like a Whore of Babylon would be great, which gives us a static damage up because we don't have any red hearts. Uh, lots of damage is always helpful. We will need that if we're going to beat the game gotta say especially like with the new cathedral like if you don't have damage on that final boss good luck it's, uh, it seems like you know the more damage you're doing per, per shot the better situation you'll be in there because obviously every time you shoot him he shoots back so if you have to shoot on him for like 15 minutes you know it's gonna be a problem for you there's a strength card which is gonna give us a free spirit heart as well as stats up for one room which is nice we did get a bomb so we'll head back to the Tinted rock and hopefully get something out of that. Really would like to get a key out of this room. It's such bullshit that they, like, if you get the basement XL, you get both doors locked instead of one of them unlocked. I really don't agree with that. Okay, no keys so far. Uh, that sucks. Missing one of the item rooms on the first two floors is like, often a death sentence because you you don't get the advantages you need to succeed in the game, but hopefully the tinted rock will have a key in it. That's, oops, that's not a door. Uh, if we don't get that, then you know, I'm not sure what we're going to do. Here's our tinted rock. Come on, something good. Well, two spirit hearts is nice, but it's no key. Unfortunately. Man, that sucks. I hate missing item rooms. That's like the worst thing the game can do to you. Huge troll. Well, let's head onward here, fight the bosses. I did get a shit ton of spirit hearts, I gotta say, out of all of those uh, tinted rocks and some out of poop and some from monster drops, I think. Just spirit hearts all over the place for the first floor, which is great. Duke of Flies is super easy, definitely not worth popping the strength card for. Depending on what the next boss is, I may end up using it there. Or I may save it for the next floor. Got these giant flies. Or not. Just dodge them. Kill the duke. Come on. It'd be great to get a deal with the devil room. Oh man. As I get hit. I said it would be great to get a deal with the devil room because he always deals in spirit hearts, and being able to trade three of my hearts right now for something nice would be awesome. At least that's also a tears up, but it sucks that we're basically missing out on the HP up. Here's Monstro. Should be super easy. Oh. Tears up is making us do a little bit more damage per second, which is always nice. So just kind of goading Monstro, getting him to hop around aimlessly. Maybe shoot some bubbles at me. No big deal. Should be able to get out of this fight, no problem. And hopefully there's a deal with the devil afterwards. And hopefully that deal with the devil has a nail in it. If we get a nail on the first floor, that's gonna be huge. Come on. Come on, monstro, stop popping around like a big dick. Alright, we do get just a spirit heart, well, two spirit hearts from that boss fight, which is alright, I guess. Oh, okay. Mom's knife, absolutely. Could there be a shot? <laughs> Mom's knife is a really overpowered item. The reason I didn't pick up the uh, that other thing, Bloodlust, is because Mom's knife doesn't really need the extra damage. It's pretty overpowered. Like, the challenge of using Mom's knife is just getting the hit in, but once you do that, basically whatever you're fighting has fallen before you and anything that isn't is usually a single target like I'm missing out a little bit on bosses that spawn a lot of enemies but only a little bit not a big deal so here we are in the caves part one with mom's knife and hearts off the screen as blue baby which is kinda of crazy really 
Um, so hopefully, if I can pick up a nail as well, or a relic or something like that, then we'll be in a really good position. The stars takes us directly to the item room. Absolutely. Hey, Stigmata is damage up plus a uh, spirit heart for us. Which is alright, not nearly as good as on any other character, but I'll still take it for sure. Though again, damage up not super important with Mom's Knife. Oh. Oh, how did I get hit that second time? I don't understand. Okay, there we go. There's another key, or a key, finally. Uh, I'll take Poison Touch. Fight a caves level mob trap room, shouldn't be a big deal. The thing with Mom's Knife is it is kind of hard to use, especially with low speed. So hoping for a speed up, hoping for a spirit heart generator. If I can get those two things, I should be in a position to finish the game. I would think. <clears throat> Shank that guy. This is the first time I've gotten uh, Mom's Knife since Wrath of the Lamb came out. Feels good, man. I was missing my overpowered items. This is a, a very familiar feeling, having the knife in my hand. Let's head onward here. And I guess I'm just looking for the shop, but for no real reason. I'm not going to waste my one key on it, but hopefully we'll find a dime on the ground or something, and that will allow us to buy something great, like a Book of Revelations. Eh? Go to mouth and shank him through the rocks. That's how we do it. Uh, no thank you. Definitely not going to sacrifice a spirit heart or potentially like five or six for a chest. Those rooms suck so bad. Like they should at least give you lock chest loot without wasting a key. Because as it is, they usually they often give you lock chest. And it's like, okay, I spent all my hearts and now I also have to spend a key. Come on. My one complaint with Mom's Knife, or one of one of my few complaints with Mom's Knife, is that it doesn't give you any indication of how charged it is. So you have to kind of, you know, guesstimate how long you have to hold down the button, but it's really easy to, uh, like, not charge it long enough and barely throw it. Go. Um, I don't think I'm going to go to the shop. I think I'm going to hang on to my keys and head on to the next floor here. Oh, well, after fighting the boss, of course. And hopefully that boss will drop something great and then we'll get a deal with the devil and pick up a nail and then everything will be perfect. Who we got? Dirty it is not so bad with mom's knife I would say. Just watch out for that. Yeah. Oops. Just walked right the fuck into her but this poison touch is going to do some serious damage there. Dirty got fucked up. <laughs> that was really easy. We did get some Jesus juice for range up, tears up, and damage up. Uh, not sure if any of those really stack with Mom's Knife very well. Surprised I didn't get a deal with the devil, but I did walk into the boss that one time. So we're on to the Catacombs Part 2. Gotta be careful here. Not sure how Mom's Knife will do against spiders, I'm just realizing. That might be a little bit tricky. Well, watch out for those, those shooting fires. But I would like to take them out, maybe get some spirit hearts. Nope. Oh, dumb. Dumb. <laughs> oh, man. This is a tough room to take out with just Mom's Knife. These guys have a lot of range on me. They have, like, really long Mom's Knives. Let's kill our poop there. Got a penny from the poop. Really doing work there. Oh, fuck. Didn't really have a way out of that one. I got locked in a corner. Let's grab that penny, make some poop, pop the poop, and what do we got? Toothpicks is a tears up as well as a damage up, I believe. I think that lets us charge mom's knife a little bit faster, but maybe not. Really hoping for a relic or something along those lines. I'm starting to take more dumb damage as the game goes on, which is to be expected, as the game does get harder. What do we got in here? Uh, I don't think it's worth my key. But still doing really, really well on health. Like, remarkably well on health. I can't believe how many spirit hearts I've managed to find. Definitely want nothing to do with that blood bank. If I had more um, bombs, I would blow it up. But with only one bomb, I want to conserve that for potentially some tinted rocks. 
here. Just some some uh, human centipedes here. No big deal. Uh, they'll just get down here. There we go. I didn't want to accidentally walk into an albino fly, so I was a little bit nervous. Let's pop this poop. Flies should be no problem, and indeed. Bad trip, come on. You can't do this to me. Let's use a spirit heart on this room, see what we get. Oh, get away. Okay, so we did get Guppy's head. That's going to produce flies for us every room. It is obviously quite a bit better than the poop. That was certainly worth the spirit heart, in my opinion, anyway. Let's see if we can hopefully get four more um, cents here and make the shop worthwhile. But I definitely don't want to waste a key on the shop until I know I'll be able to buy something. There's one cent there, but can't really get to it. Oh, almost forgot to use Guppy's head. Oh! Epicac nubs. There we go. Uh, did Guppy's head do nothing there? I feel like that was the same number of flies I had before. Maybe not, though. There's another scent I would have to waste a bomb on. Not really worthwhile here. Let's just go ahead and... I'm debating using my key on the mob trap room, but I'm having such terrible luck with keys. I actually want to save it for the next floor to guarantee that I'll at least be able to visit an item room next floor. Oh, come on. I can't believe I took damage on that. That was so easy. The husk. Uh, damage up is alright, I guess. Don't really need it so much. Nail. Nail, nail, nail. Come on. Okay, Krampus is alright. Well, actually, I'm not really sure if uh, Lump of Cold does anything with Mom's Knife, unfortunately. <laughs> well, there it is anyway. We'll pick it up, obviously, because not much else I can do. And I... Um, yeah, I'm going to save my... my... thing. My key. And here we are on the Necropolis 1. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Guppy's head really did work on that room. I don't think I did a single thing. Yep, the suicide flies are just gonna try in vain to take out that epic actor. Oh, come on. Trading a bomb for a bomb is, you know, not a great deal. Slow. I need some speed. Badly. That, kill that. What? <laughs> okay. Can't really get to that penny. I have a feeling there's a glitch where some things will put their drop in the top left of the room. I've seen that before as well with a heart. Maybe it's just the fires. Right, come on. Oh. There's a matchstick. We have no idea what that trinket does. I think even the wiki is like, uh, I don't know. That was really close. But now the rocks are gone, so it should be a little bit easier to maneuver. That room dropped nothing for us. So I'm bleeding health, which is what always happens as Blue Baby. I really need to, uh, yeah, with 16 cents, let's check out the shop. Alright, steam sale. Oh, <laughs> I thought that I would have enough for the key, but uh, in a little while I will have enough for the key. And that's probably going to be a worthwhile purchase, though if there's no shop on the next floor, then it's going to be totally useless. Which, we haven't seen greed yet, so probably a decent chance of that happening. But we can buy that key for three cents, which is almost certainly going to be what's going to happen so I can get into the item room. If I get another penny, that is. Oh, come on. There we go. These guys are so fast. Come on. <laughs> There we go. Did that not kill the poop in one hit? Okay, gotta charge it up. Throw it. There we go. Charge it up. Kill the poop. There we go. That spider wasn't too hard. I hate how suicide flies are like, oh look, a turret. Or, oh look, a zombie, let's just all kill ourselves without doing anything. I feel like those... Yeah, there's another penny that spawned in the top left when they killed the fire. Yeah, I feel like those turrets should not count as enemies for the purpose of the things that try to attack them. The dead bird and me boy also do it. Oh god. Or at least my flies shouldn't die when they try to attack the turret. 
Not doing so great here. Did you get nine cents? So that's enough to buy that key easily. But might as well save it now because I do have two keys. Watch out for the greed heads. There we go. Two down. Oh, should make this room way easier. Okay, there's another key. I'm gonna leave that room and come back so that the switchblades despawn. What? In what universe did that rock not go onto that pit? That is such bullshit. Oh well, let's hop in here. Two square yards already worthwhile, thank god. And two spiders, see you guys later. So I've got a free spirit heart out of the, that room, that's always nice. Hopefully we'll stumble across the item room very soon and there will be a relic in there. Oh god. So much dumb damage. I can't afford this. I do still have the strength card stocked up just in case I get into a situation where it's needed. I'm hoping to save that for a difficult boss. Wow, those uh, like husk knockoffs are really easy with the uh, <coughs> mom's knife. I can't believe I took more damage. Come on, you can't do this. Oh, hold it together. Hold it together until I get something good. Okay, what do we got here? Wow, two spirit hearts and a bomb is a really good tinted rock. Oh, fuck me. Ah, oh, there's no way out. There's no way. Man. Okay. Let's focus. Now there's only two, so taking more damage on this room would be idiotic. I already took two full hearts. That's horrible. I definitely will use a bomb and a key to open that chest. And hopefully get something awesome. Oh, man. <laughs> that is pretty awesome. Tons of resources out of that chest. Which means I can definitely get... Oh! Oh, there's so little room to maneuver, and the spider webs slow you down, so you can't really like, do anything about it. How am I gonna do this? Ah, oh, so close. Okay, just, there we go. Suicide it. All right, get over here. Ah, oh, fuck! Too slow from the spider webs. Literally could not avoid that. I was going as quickly as possible. We did get tooth shot. I'm not sure if that does anything with mom's knife. My guess is no. Kill this guy. Kill him. I'm doing so poorly all of a sudden. I'm hitting, hitting some bullshit rooms. The, the hit from the greed head was totally my bad. I'm, just, I'm losing confidence. I, everything's slipping away. Come on. We can do this. All I need is something really good like a nail or a book of revelations. Let's see what we can get in here. Nothing of use. Really do wish I didn't have to fight this whole room now. Hoping for spirit hearts or like a permanent upgrade out of that chest. I didn't get it. Go. Come on. There we go. The zombies are super easy with mom's knife. Oh! That was really close. I didn't realize I was an Isaac head zombie. certain like rhythm that you have to fire the knife with or else it goes right through them. Alright, well, I feel like I'm done with this floor, really. On to the boss of Necropolis Part 1. Loki's super easy. Puny god. There we go. Like I said, super easy. Go. I'm gonna leave the room, then come back so that uh, switchblade is gone. Pick up my spirit heart. Get a pageant boy, which is just like what is that? Seven cents? Pathetic. <laughs> Not an upgrade at all. Uh, unfortunate. Curse of darkness on the last floor or the, the last depths floor. That sucks. So I'm gonna be totally lost for this floor, inevitably. room didn't go so poorly. Fucking greed. Just kill the fly. There we go. Cool. 
go. Ah, uh, come on. So, Steam Sale, totally useless. Never got to buy anything from the shop, I don't think. Sucks, man. It's really hoping for a Book of Revelations there. That would have, like, saved the whole run. Hopefully, maybe we'll run into a library later on. Oh, I can't believe I got hit by that. I was like, my knife was inside the guy I thought, but apparently he didn't die. So I just took a hit on the chin as a result. Bad gas, super useful. Got my bomb, definitely not worth using a bomb for a half heart that I can't ever possibly use. It bothers me so much that like things still drop red hearts uh, when you're playing as Blue Baby, just to taunt you. Like you could be doing okay right now if you weren't playing as Blue Baby. Ah, uh, not worth it. I have plenty of bombs and keys. Very rare to get anything other than bombs, keys, and money out of those chests. Oh, and red hearts, of course. Could potentially get a spirit heart, but could easily lose spirit hearts on that room as well. This fistula is freaking me out. There we go. Fuck! <laughs> I'm so slow. I'm so slow, and I'm so doomed. I, like, I can't believe how rare they made speed upgrades. I never see speed upgrades anymore when I play Binding of Isaac. I'm not sure if that's just me, or... Uh, if that's really the case, but like I never ever ever see speed upgrades. It used to, it used to be like you would get a speed upgrade from the boss constantly. It was such a common effect, and now you never ever see it anymore. Okay, I think we still need the item room on this floor. So but I gotta remember, boss room is like top right-ish. Uh, now here's where the not having a map is a huge pain because I'm like, okay, which way do I go now? Which way have I not been yet? Which way is toward the edges of the map? I don't know. Let's just wander. Just wander around. Have I been down here? Yes. That's where the shop was, okay. Now let's go this way. Really could use something good out of the item room, though I think it may be too late, you know? I'm, I'm doing very poorly here. Oh, uh, there's a spirit heart. Definitely worth a bomb to pick that up. Thank you. Pop in here. To get the black bean is not the game-breaking item that I was hoping for. Where did all my flies go? I just used Guppy's head and I got no flies out of it. That item seems a little bit glitchy as well. Alright, so we're probably going to use strength on the mom boss fight so that I can get through there very quickly and hopefully not take too much damage. And then, you know, we'll go on to the womb. I've got a tiny little vague chance of winning. But, yeah, I wouldn't, wouldn't say... I, I wouldn't call myself optimistic here. Oh, fuck. I hate how it spawns you in range of the foot. That never used to be the case, so you could, like, use an item without worrying about instantly getting hit. I can't believe that uh, hand didn't hit me there, so we're even now. Fuck. Too slow. Between a rock and a hard place, I could either walk into the wall, the eye on the wall, and hurt myself, or uh, walk into the foot. I guess I chose the foot. Anyway, mom went down super easily because that's what uh, that's what mom's knife does, man. It takes things out super easily. This is risky, but I really if this has like a passive upgrade in it. Totally worth it. Oh man, scary. There's, oh come on. It bounced me away from the chest into the spikes. I literally, that was nothing I pushed on my on my end. There was just no way out of it. I should have known it. But trading a spear heart for a damage up, uh, with mom's knife, probably not worth it. Generally, I would say yes, but uh, yeah. If I could take that decision back, I would. Spear hearts, nope. Bombs. Bombs everywhere, man. So many bombs. It's nice to have my map back. I can start analyzing the floor and making intelligent decisions. Presumably, anyway. Let's move onward here. It's a little bit close. We did find the boss room extremely quickly, which is always nice. But yeah, at this point, I'm not totally sure what I could do to succeed. <laughs> I would need a miracle. Skull X is, that's the start of a miracle right there, man. Two hits, dead. Shot speed up. I'm not sure how that affects Mom's Knife. It might have. I don't think it did. I think that's no upgrade whatsoever from Skull X, which is unfortunate. 
could have really used an extra spirit art, really. Okay, okay. Just weave, weave back and forth and kill it! Whew, can't believe I got through that without taking damage. Go take out the giant brimstone eye. And I guess we'll just head south here. There's a super mom trap room which I should be able to access in my current state. And mom's knife is a boss destroyer. So depending on what the item is, I see myself probably doing that. What do we got? Tears up? Nope. I don't think that does anything with mom's knife, unfortunately. It sucks because I could really use an advantage right now. Use my two keys to get a troll bomb and half a heart. Come on. So shitty. Doesn't the game know? Like, I, I need... This is the part of the of the run where I have to like learn the value of friendship and get my overpowered item and triumph over evil and yeah this this is not the part where I get fucked over and over again with uh, like stuff I don't need so we're in the final act here oh man it's so depressing playing a run where you're pretty sure you're gonna lose and you're just kinda going through the motions but it's surprising to get this far as Blue Baby without ever having gotten a Book of Revelations or a nail or a relic or any other way of producing spirit hearts whatsoever. So you know, I count that as, as a success. Oh yeah, what was my, my criteria for success on this run was like, last 15 minutes, so we doubled that. So already, if we go by my low standards of success, I've already won. And really, like, what else matters? Your low standards of su success, viewer? I don't think so. Da oh, die. There we go. Another bomb, man. So many bombs. What's up this way? Nothing of note. What we got here? Bad gas. I mean, I guess I'll hang on to it. Might use it on mom's heart. Oh, uh, this room is scary. I can't believe I haven't taken damage yet, but... Oh, God. Why would it drop a pill? That was... Really lucky I didn't get hit while I was grabbing that pill, and there was no way around it. Oh, come on. I can't believe that shit. Two hits. Ah, man. I'm so pissed off that happened toward the end after all the crazy shit. But whatever. Those guys are no threat anymore. We did find the boss room, finally. Fighting Mom's heart. Let's get in there. I see Mom's Heart probably being a success. It's uh, not very difficult with Mom's Knife, let's put it that way. Good, all the zombies. Come on. There we go. Oh, fuck. I can't believe I got hit by that stupid uh, fly. And again by the fucking uh, bomb. Okay, well, anyway, with two and a half hearts going up to the cathedral. You know what I could really use is another one of those uh, trinket machines. If I found one of those, I'd have a serious chance because I have 32 cents to blow on it. Come on. Fuck me. Alright. Down to two hearts. Oh, we do have the wafer. That's right. I would be so dead without the wafer. I completely forgot about that. So that's uh, halving all of the damage we take. Here, the burnt penny uh, has a chance of giving us bombs every time we pick up a... Uh, Anything? Okay, gotta remember not to use Tammy's head like that. You know what, we're so fucked that I think it's worthwhile to go in here and see what we can get. Just great. So, I used one of my two spirit hearts on nothing there, but if I had gotten something good out of there, it could have turned the run around. And, let's be honest here, we all know that the run is fucked. Except we just found a slot machine, so let's play the shit out of that, maybe get some spirit hearts. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I need like a million spirit hearts, please. Because I'm still, I'm not even very confident in my ability to fight Isaac normally, let alone with only one heart. And of course, we still have to get there. Yep, there's our bomb for picking up the penny. Which is not super useful, but I mean, it's, it's something, right? I don't know what the matchstick was doing, so might as well get a trinket that I at least understand. God damn it, man. Okay, if we find a trinket machine will be in a hugely good situation. What's this? Probably another troll bomb? Maybe two spirit hearts though? Yep, another troll bomb, I knew it. That sucks. Let's 
go ahead and look for the secret room here. Hey, Faith Heart Machine. Oh my god! So good! Okay, we're gonna stock the fuck up on Spirit Hearts. You might want to skip ahead significantly in the video. Because I'm just gonna be sitting here rambling while I pump money into this thing forever. Waiting until I get a significant stock of Spirit Hearts. Probably will just spend all of my money on this goddamn thing. There's one. Man, this is like, this is gonna save the run, guys. I, I feel like I have a really significant chance of winning now. It's just gonna take me like probably five minutes to pump all my money into this thing. So I apologize for the padded video time. I'll definitely take the liberty cap there. But, you know, it's necessary. Question authority. You'd get a tarot card as well. We got justice, so will give us a few miscellaneous trinkets there. Hang on to the liberty cap and the bad gas pill. There's mom's pearl, don't want that. I believe it gives you a higher chance of getting mom items, but uh, that's unconfirmed. Hanged man is actually pretty good. I'll probably use that on the Isaac boss fight to give me a little bit more maneuverability. Or if there's something good that I can't get to without flying, then I'll use it there. Keep on pumping money in here. Not getting as many spirit hearts as I would have hoped, given that I've spent a quarter of my money for two spirit hearts. But still, if that keeps up, that's uh, another six spirit hearts incoming, which is pretty goddamn good, I gotta say. Cursed Skull teleports you when you reach half a heart, and it's so bad with Blue Baby, guys. Ooh, that this Joker card will take us directly to a deal with the devil or an angel room. So we'll definitely use that after we, we're finished here and then come back and pick up the uh, hanged man. Another tarot card, what do we got? The sun, oh, okay, we'll come back and pick up the sun. That's really good. That will do significant damage to whatever we're fighting, show us the remainder of the level, and uh, fill up our health, though that doesn't really do much for blue baby. I think I want to avoid picking up the tick. I feel like I like the Liberty Cap better. Liberty Cap gives us a random tier effect on every room. Come on, man, Spirit Hearts. What are you doing? Last time you were so good for Spirit Hearts, and now it's like 40 cents for three. Okay, there's another one. 40 cents for four, I guess. But still so much more of a chance than before and we have to remember that we have the wafer so this is the effective equivalent of 10 hearts on uh, the Isaac Voss fight which is a lot. There's the counterfeit penny which I believe just uh, gives us more money when we pick up money. I'm gonna leave that on the ground there because I'm obviously in a fairly good financial situation here. There's another tarot card, another hanged man card. Oh wait, stars? Oh man so much shit piled up here. There's a flat penny. We get our joker back and now we just need to get our trinket back which is over there on top of the thing. Okay whatever. Oh fuck I walked on the tick. Okay so no more switching out trinkets which at the very least is gonna make it way easier to uh, avoid accidentally walking on shit here I guess but Sucks that we're stuck with that, but it is going to take some of Isaac's health off for us right away. Which is alright. I should have seen that coming a mile away. There's no way to avoid walking on that. There's two of clubs, doubles or bombs. Might as well. It's the Joker back. Looks like we were picking up cancer, but it's actually the Joker. What do we got here? Two of clubs, up to 80 bombs. Why not, right? There's a... Uh, oh god. <laughs> the tower. Okay, we need our Joker card back. There we go. There's another Spirit Heart. Walk around the long way to pick that up for sure. Where did that normal heart come from? Oh, the Justice card, of course. Wake up. Yeah, wake up, viewers. Aren't you bored of watching me play a slot machine yet? I'll probably, for this case, put an annotation in. Be like, this is where I finish. Uh, playing with the slot machine, if you guys don't want to watch five minutes of uh, hearing the slot machine sound over and over again, give me back the Joker. There we go. But, you know, I want to give myself the best chance possible here. 
because, you know, it's not every day you get a chance to beat Blue Baby on your first try in Wrath of the Lamb. There's another trinket. Come on, man. Uh, the High Priestess. His mom's foot come down. Don't want that. <laughs> so many. The tower. Uh, missing page is a trinket. Need to get the Joker card back. The Joker, cool. Let's come back up here. Way too many cards on the ground. It's gonna be hard to find the sun card again. another playing card. Hopefully that's uh, like the two of diamonds. That would be really cool. Two of spades doubles our number of keys. So we got two keys now. Really ballin'. There's the sun. Where'd the joker go? There it is. I thought it was like destroyed by being in too high a stack of cards for a second there. Oh, these explode? I had no idea. Where's that pill? Give me the pill. Oh, mystery pill. Tears down. Uh, well, I don't think that does anything. Here goes the Joker. Oh, man. Is it worth it? I don't think so. I think I'm going to stick with Mom's Knife. Thank you anyway, though, Devil. Now let's head up here and try to find the Sun card. Which is by far our best bet here. That brings us back up to three hearts, which is nice. As well as doing a lot of damage to... Most likely Isaac is when we're going to use it. Three hearts, of course, is the equivalent of six hearts, so I don't think it's any of those. There it is. Okay, now don't touch anything else and get out of the room. Alright, we're in a great position now. <laughs> much, much, much better than we were a second ago. Oh, god damn it! Fuck! I forgot about that completely. Okay, wow, Widow's gonna go down in two hits. Almost one hit. We'll head down this way. Yeah, I feel like there's a significant chance here. The wafer was huge. Uh, that means we have like 12 spirit hearts with which to get to Isaac and finish him off. Plus the sun card will give us another one, or another three. Okay, come on. Oh, fuck me. He's so much faster than me. So Obviously you have to get really close to him and then he can jump away faster than you can. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Just leave. <laughs> fuck that room. Oh man, just leave. Just leave. Out. Okay. So it's not down there. Gotta hit the boss room fast though. Because I'm bleeding these hearts too quickly. One hit on that widow. Come on. Okay. There we go. And there's the boss room. Alright. We'll never have a better chance than now. Let's go. Bring it on, Isaac. Mom's knife is really good on Isaac. Which I guess you might expect. Oh man, he's so fucked. He's so fucked. Guys, I'm gonna beat the game's blue baby. Oh man, did not expect this when I rolled blue baby on the random screen. I don't even care at this point. See you later, Isaac, you big dickhole. We beat the game with blue baby, guys. Oh man, that's good. That feels great. Alright, yeah, we'll watch poor little uh, demon baby Isaac in the mirror. So sad, but I myself am so happy. Thank you guys for watching another exciting episode of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. Next time, we will uh, probably try another vanilla run. I feel really encouraged by beating the game with by far the most difficult character. It's good to get that out of the way uh, before Isaac becomes too powerful. And, uh, yeah, we'll just hit that random button again. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Oh, wait, let's see what I unlocked. It's not going to tell me what I unlocked? Oh, well. Who knows? I unlocked something. See you guys next time.